Well, here is the O-ring that I took off the bolt, which is, oh, right there. Crack. This reminds me of the O-rings on my 66 Skylark when I cooked the tranny 30 years ago. Now I just spent 10 minutes trying to get the O-ring out of the adapter and it's so hard after 245,000 miles that I couldn't take it out, just couldn't bust it. So finally, I didn't have any leaks here. Things are machined well, but time for a new O-ring. Three dollars. Good to change this. I'm going to spray some carb cleaner in there, make sure it's clean, lube it up with some fluid film, put it back together, and call it a night. I'm done. Yep. All the 4.3s and 6.5s have this. The 4.3s have the oil filter over here. 6.5s have the oil filter right there. And I have my shields to put on as well. Inner fender shields. I took off the crew cab. Pieces, parts. I'm missing my shields to stop salt from splashing into my exhaust manifolds. I noticed the new Chevy trucks, the 2000s and up, don't have any shields at all. Junk. Stupid. That's all your crap get into the engine from the wheels. All right. O-ring time. Nice and springy. All right, the oil's back in the motor. Oil filter adapter is on, the oil filter is on. Right there. I'm gonna crank this baby up. I'm gonna put the tripod on my camera. You can watch it crank from underneath. A few years ago, a friend of mine had a 94 extra cab long bed Chevy 2500 with a diesel. We blew the motor, head gaskets, whatever it was. Put another motor in and the starter bolts were all buggered up. So he finally got it bolted in barely. He came over and showed me, look, 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 it starts. And he turns the key and it didn't sound too healthy. He's like crawling underneath and I watched the starter twist. I said, you better fix that. <laughs> Anyways, the transmission mount busted off the frame and he scrapped the truck without telling me with a nice, nice 6.5. What do you want that truck for? It's all rusty. I said, parts, man, parts. Well, I hope it doesn't leak. Let's see. I'll move this camera back a bit so you can see the filter, which is there. Oh, how low can you go? I wonder if it's going to leak. It's hard to get a good feel for stuff when you're lying on your back on a cold concrete floor. It's as good as I can get it. I guess if it leaks, you'll be the first to know before I will. Oh, I hope it doesn't leak. It's hard to tell if that seal landed in the groove. Maybe I should have put some grease on it. Grease. I was just texting Toe Wrecker in Tennessee. WRTF Toe Wrecker. He wants to find me some parts of the junkyard. Mrs. CW doesn't want to drive back from Charlotte or Asheville, North Carolina, kind of suburban. My buddy was fire chief, but not interested in driving back. Prayer up! Thinking leaks. Uh oh, I just saw a drop of oil. Oh shoot. Just saw one drop of oil. Maybe it was 
just residue. Yep, rip. Come on. Could have been from the edge of the filter. Camera has trouble adjusting to the darkness and the light. There's the dipstick tube. I put two O-rings in. One's good, two's better. Maybe I'll crank her up again if it's leaking. I gotta take it off. Luckily, it's not too hard to do. Well, I might have just been some residue. A little bit of oil from the edge of the filter when I tipped it on its side. All right, that's it for tonight. I'm hanging up my trouble light and putting on my toque with holes in it. Put my tape measure in my pocket for construction work tomorrow and reading about more oil filters on Corolla land. Thanks for looking. <laughs> Good night, it's almost 11 o'clock.